Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create this weird looking service card with a hover effect like a pro. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like this, that has this capsule kind of shape. And then with a hover effect, like when you hover on it, it has this hovering effect on it. And it is responsive on all devices. Looks great on basically all devices. As you can see it on a laptop when you come over here you can check it out on tablet this is what it looks like the tablet looks beautiful on tablet you can use this to spice out your website design or whatever project you're working on and uh, this is where you get on mobile as well okay so without further delay let's dive in and get started so now the method it is created what we're going to do first we're going to come over here let's select the flexbox container select this structure here and let's head over here, set the content width to full width and for the minimum height, let's change the uniform pixel to VH and give it a value of 100. And let's go over here and justify content to the center and align item to the center. Now let's click on this plus icon here and drag the container here. Now for this container, we're going to change the content width to full width. And then for the width, we're going to change the uniform percentage to pixel and give it a value of 300. Okay. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here to the gaps and then set the gap value to 10 pixel for both the column and the row. And we'll go to the style option. Now we're going to set the background type to a uh, classic and then for the background color we're going to set it to b4 b474 okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the border and then we're going to give it a border radius of 190 pixel all around okay so now what we're going to do next is we're going to come over here let's rename this let's call this card let's call this card and then and let's come over here, click on this plus icon here, or click on our widget distribute skip icon here to take us to our element area. And then we're gonna drag another container and drop it right within this card container here. Now for this container here, we're gonna rename it and call it inner. Okay. Now for this inner, we're gonna come over here for the width. We're gonna change the unit to pixel and then give it the value same as the card, uh, the width for the card container 300 pixel. And now for the minimum height here, we're gonna set the minimum height to 270 pixel. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the style option. Now for the style option, we're going to set the background type to classic. And then this time around, we're going to select a background image. Now we're going to come over here and let's select this image here. And then let's come over, set the position to center, center. And then for the repeat, we're going to set it to no repeat. Display size, we're going to set it to cover. Okay. Now we're going to come over here to the border. And then we're going to set a border radius. We're going to unlink this border radius. And then we're going to give a border radius to the top 190. Just like the border radius we gave the card container. And then to the right, we're going to give it 190 as well. 190 as well. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to the shape divider. Now for the shape divider, we're going to go to the bottom. And then we're going to select the type to be book. And then for the book, we're going to come over here. Let's set the color. Now for the color, we're going to give it the same color as the card container color, background color, which is B4, B4, 7, 4. Okay. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to the invert and then we're going to set it to yes. Okay. So now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over to our element area. We're going to drag some elements here. Let's drag the heading first and drop it right below the inner container. Okay, now we, we can't really get that, achieve that easily. So we're just going to use our navigator to do that. So we just take it here and then close this inner and bring it to the bottom here. So it's not within the inner container, but within the card container, like what we have here. Now for this, we're going to change the title here to coffee. Okay, and then we're going to go to the style and tweak it a little bit. Let's align it to the center, change the color, text color to white. And then let's go over to the typography here. And then we just come over and change the font width to 600 semi bold. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, we'll come over here to the widget area and drag the text here and drop it right below the heading text. And let's go to the style option and tweak it. Align it to the center, change the text color to white as well. And then for the typography, we won't be doing anything there. So let's come over here to the advanced areas of the padding. For the text padding, we're going to give it a padding of 10 pixels to the top, 20 to the right, 20. 10 to the bottom and then 20 to the left. Okay. So now that we'll have that, the next thing we're going to do, we'll come over here, click this risk key icon and let's drag a button widget and drop it right below the text widget. Okay. Now for the button, we're going to tweak it as well. So we'll come over to the style, position it to the center. And then we're going to come over here for the text color, let's set it to black. And then for the background color, let's set the background color to white. Okay. Great. 
Now let's go over to the border radius and give it the border radius of 20 pixels all around. Okay, now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we just put a comma away. Let's see what we have working for us. Okay, this is what we have working for us. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to come over to the advanced settings for this button and then we'll go to the margin. We're going to unlink this to the bottom. We're going to set, give it a value of 40 pixel. Okay, so now we see that our weird looking card shape is already taken form, as you can see. So now let's come over here and I'll do some minor tweaking. Now the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over here to this inner count card and then we're going to come over to the background overlay. Now we're going to come over to the background type and set classic and let's add a corner. Leave it black. Now let's come over here and reduce the opacity to 3. 0.3. Okay, this looks better. Okay, so now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to add some minor animation to this card and then some other effects to it. So we're going to come over to the card container to do so. And then for the under this type, we're going to come down here to the border. Now we're going to add a box shadow. Okay. Now for this box shadow here, we're going to come over, change the color here to a solid color by dragging this here and then coming over here, setting it to hex and then coming over here to put the color, which is the, the color code, which is D E D E E one. Okay. All right, so this is the color. Now we're going to come over here for the horizontal. First of all, for the blow, we're going to change the blow value from 10 to 0. And then for the horizontal, we're going to leave it at 0. For the vertical, we're going to give the vertical a value of 10. And then for the spread, we're going to leave the spread as it is. So this is what we now have. As you can see, this is what we have for our card. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some hover effect to it. So to do so, we're going to click on the hover effect. And now for the box shadow here, we're going to come over here and then change this solid, this color here to a solid color as well, just like we did before. And then change this to X and then we're going to come on, give it a value of set it to white. Okay. And then for the vertical, we're going to set the vertical, give it a value of 10. And then for the blow, we're going to set it to zero. Okay. Just like we did. So now I will come over here. If we come over, we have this effect, like you see, this is, they just look here. You can see the effect we have. Okay, so now let's still go back here and still for the transition duration, let's set the transition duration to 0 0.5. Okay. All right. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, the next animation we're going to add to this is we're going to go to the advanced settings for this card container. And then we're going to come over to transform. And then we're going to go to the hover. Now for the hover effect, we're going to come over to the offset. And here we're going to set the offset value for the Y to minus 10 minus 10 and then we're going to set the duration to 900 milliseconds okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is uh let's hover and see okay now let's come over here to the offset and increase the value to negative 15. let's see it now okay yeah we can see this effect here okay all right so now that we've done this and everything now looks great our our card our weird looking card is already well formed as you can see so the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over here and duplicate the card let's duplicate it and uh, let's duplicate it again okay so now for this card the, the second card here we're going to come over here and that's for the inner we're going to change the image the background image here to uh let's say this kick okay and then let's change the text here to kick okay and then let's come over here to the third card and for the third card we're going to come over to this style option for the inner container and then we're going to change the image to um, this cookie here and then let's change the text to cookies so this is more like a card a service card for uh a bakery or something like that cookies okay and then you can see this is what we have here now if you're not okay with this color we can still go ahead and tweak the colors like change the colors a little bit so we have something diverse here so to do so what we're going to do first is now for the second card here there is the card for the cake we'll come over here to the card and then we'll go to the style option now we're going to change this color here we're going to change it to Let's give it this value of C E 
So if if okay, and then let's copy out this common code here and let's come over to our inner container, inner card, this card here, and let's come down here to where we have our shape divider button, and then let's give it this color here. Okay. And then the next thing we're gonna do is for this color here, we're gonna come down back to our card. Now for the card, we're gonna come down here to the border, and then for the box shadow, we're gonna come here and change this color here to something like this. FB six six six. Okay, so we now have something like this for our cake. You yeah, see, and then we're gonna come over here to this last one, the cookie card. And then for the cookie card, we're gonna to come to the style option here. I'm gonna change this background color here to something like four six, four six, four six. Okay. And then just like we did on with effecting the change on, on the cake, we're gonna come over here to let's come over to the border and then let's change the color for the border as well. Let's change it to um six seven six seven six seven like so. Okay, and then let's head over to our inner card. Yeah, for inner card, let's come down here to the shape divider and for the bottom, this color here, we're going to change it to 464646. Six, four, six. Okay, so now we now have this wonderful, weird looking service card. Okay, as you can see, when you hover, you have this effect of it moving up and then like so. Okay, so now we can come over here and check the responsiveness of our card. So to do so, just turn on this. Now uh, we do this, like I see, it's not, it doesn't look really nice, so but fix it. It's just, why not we can we'll come over to this parent container. Let's call this our parent container. Now for this parent container here, we're just going to come over here. We're not in the out, we're going to come over here. And then for the wrap, we're going to set it to wrap. So we'll now have this wonderful effect. Then we'll come to the mobile. We'll have it looking great and the mobile. Not really great, but... To fix it on the mobile, we're just still on the parent container. We're going to go to the advanced settings and for the pattern, we can give it a pattern of um, 100 and then unlink it to the left value of 20, to the right 20. So now this wonderful effect starts on cool mobile, as you can see. And then looking great on tablet as well and on desktop as well. So as you can see, we've been able to create this weird looking card without the use of any line of CSS code or additional plugin to achieve it, all with native elemental widgets. So we'll be able to tweak it and achieve this wonderful weird looking card, service card. So we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, please remember to give the tutorial a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And feel free to drop your comments wherever you're confused or you have suggestions or ideas that I will do well to attend to as much as I can. See you on our next video. Bye-bye.